What is going on everyone? Dominic Ichandi here bringing you back another video. So as most of you know who have been watching and if you don't know, let me introduce you to my 2013 Mustang GT. Mustang has been in and out of the shop over the course of the last year for long periods of time. Finally got it back a couple months ago. It is fully up and running, uh, but it does need some minor things. So today we're going to be uh, addressing some of those minor things. Not all of them. I wish I had the time to do all of them today, but we have some other things to take care of today as well. So uh, I'm waiting for Trevor to, uh, to get here. He's on his way over. He's going to help me film and uh, get the job done. Yeah, hang tight and uh, we'll meet you at the garage. How do you do, sir? Not too bad, how about you? Pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. You look like you're ready to go to the beach, dude. I'm ready to party. Uh, are you hungry? <laughs> what does that mean? It means if you want to do food, we can do food. If not, we can go right to work. I'm good either way. I'm good either way. I'd rather start doing stuff. Really? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're jumping right into it. All right, so we grabbed this stuff from my house. My new wrench set that I got on Amazon on Prime Day for 80 bucks. It was very worth it. A bunch oh, of- Oh, my sunglasses are inside. Throw on your head. Oh, sweet, we're good, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> um, I got, I'm a property manager uh, full-time and I got a call. So, so luckily it's something very simple. We're gonna go take care of it real quick. Just a quick stop at Wawa for some Body armor, they got the new one with the, the freaking caffeine in it. I like this. I actually choose this over coffee anytime I go to Wawa because it's that good. And then you got buffalo chicken bites. Chicken slumbers. All right, we got the car pulled in uh, forward in the garage so we have some shade because it ended up being really sunny out today. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy, but it's sunny. Well, at least there's no rain. So either way, we're able to work on the car, but I wanted to pull it in so that we had some room. I'm gonna pop open the hood just to let it cool down even though it's only been running for five or ten minutes it's still probably gonna be really hot because it's just hot out today. And this way uh, we could work right here again in the shade. Let that cool down for a couple minutes and we'll start uh, chucking away and taking some stuff apart. I think we have to take the strut tower off. I can get the cover, the uh, 5.0 cover off. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull all the coil packs and unscrew all the uh, spark plugs with the... Um, and let me flip around and show you. Got the strut tower. This is where all the spark plugs and coil packs and we're going to be replacing the, the uh, spark plugs today on both sides. There's uh, four on each side. So uh, I'll definitely have to probably take the strut tower off. Yeah. You sure? Should be able... Oh, he's golden. We're good. All right, cool. Here, I'm gonna give this to you. Is it recording? Yep. Oh, we're just recording the whole time? Yep. <laughs> Booty shot. Oh, now it's a shot. Ass, 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 ass. All right. Wow, this is thick. It's a thick boy. Dude, this is legit. I mean, yeah. Except the only problem is this bit is huge, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna have an adapter big enough for that. So I need to take it down. Let's find out. Where's the uh, tool set? Well, looks like uh, these two don't go together, and I need this. Torque down the uh, spark plug. So we're gonna run to the store, grab what we need, come back, go from there. doesn't understand I have eardrums. I hope this works. Not if not, I have another, I have one more bit that I bought. Perfect. Trev, how's it going there? Uh, 
me. <laughs> or should I say me? <laughs> yeah, you shoved that in there. <laughs> Didn't have to spit on it. Don't put that in there. I'm definitely putting that in there. Dope. We Gucci. All right, let's do it. Part one of, just so you guys have an idea, we're gonna be changing the spark plug. This is part one of the video. There is gonna be a part two, either tomorrow or the next day, uh, where I'm gonna data log the car with my RevX tuner, and I'll walk you guys through how to use that. I haven't seen a lot of people post videos on one, how to use it, or two, even using that um, that tuner. Not a lot of people have that. Other people have like the X4 or the Lund tune, um, but this one is called the RevX. It does uh, cloud-based tuning, which, and honestly, is, I like because the other one you have to connect to a Windows computer, the X4. I think the LUN too. Uh, you have to connect to a computer and every time you data log, you have to stop, load the data log to the computer or, you know, in some cases people go inside and then load it. Mine, I can stop the car, send the log, goes right to my email, start the next one. So that's pretty cool. So we pulled the uh, covers off, pulled the strut tower off, we pulled the 5.0 cover off, we pulled the coil cover off. We're going to pull these coil, coils off. These are 8 mils. There's four of them. So we're going to pull the 8 mil and then you can snap this clip, give a little pull, and uh, should clip right up. I remember, I believe Ryan and I accidentally broke this one. So I'm going to have to figure out if it just clips and pops up. But uh, I have replaced these once. My buddy Ryan, who did the help me do the steering wheel, he um, he replaced these for me. And this was at 70,000 miles. We're now at 111. So just doing the spark plugs because it's running a little rich. And uh, I get some some uh, weird hiccups when it idles. When I first start it, it sounds like it's friggin' cammed and it's not. So It's kind of nice how like close the spark Everything plugs is, are. Yeah. Boom. And just like that, we're out. I like that little popping sound. Yeah. So we're going to put these to the side. Now, do we need to keep these in order? Not that I'm aware of, All right. but I will. So we can like put them right here. Are we going to do like one side at a time? And do like that. Yeah, that's All what right. I figured. That makes sense. Yep. We can do that to all four while we're here. Pop those clips up. Boom shakalaka. Juicy. 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 It's an old one. That does not look good. No, it's that's kind of normal. Honestly, um, my, the last time I took them off, it had about six thousand miles, and they looked pretty worn. They're definitely even more worn now because you know, red line. All right, all four out. Now we're gonna grab the uh, the new ones. I just like to look inside to see, like aside oh, yeah. from. The threading of where I pulled out, like they look. I don't know if we can see that. Yeah, dude, they look. They look good. All of them look good. So that's a good sign. It's a really good sign. It means I didn't uh, do the the engine that much of a disservice. You didn't redline too too much. Too much. Ford OEM. Uh, I actually found these on Amazon for cheaper than anywhere else you could buy them, including Ford and American Muscle and all those websites. I think I paid like less than $50. And they're, again, Ford OEMs that are already gapped. Compare them to the yeah. hot, this is hot. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I'm putting that down. Yeah. Holy <laughs> hell, that is hot. Is it? Yeah, feel it. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. that side, that side that sparks. This side? Yeah. Yeah, it's hot. For our Spanish viewers, caliente. Caliente. 
All right, essentially uh, you wanna do th the same thing to the other side. Uh, the camera got a little hot because it's warm outside, but uh, you wanna torque it down to 12 found, uh, uh, uh. you wanna torque it down to 12 found. Foot pounds. Thank you. You, <laughs> you wanna torque it down to 12 pound feet of torque, there we go. Found feet of took. You wanna, uh, yeah, but you wanna torque it down um, to an exact spec, which isn't much after I tightened it. It was like very little, but um, we're gonna bang out the other side. We're gonna start it up and see how she does. That one just came right undone. Maybe this wasn't making as much contact. What well, if you haven't been driving on all eight cylinders? Well, then I got a fresh cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> And if the car feels fast without the extra cylinder, imagine now. One more. All right, well, we're gonna <laughs> unplug the battery. Unplug the battery. Eight mil. <laughs> and that's why you should unplug the battery. I'm like, it's gonna bug out. Yeah, she's gonna be like, no, why'd you do that? You're not allowed to work on your car anymore. That's dangerous. Or she's gonna be like, just make sure you unplug the battery. Follow the instructions. Come on, Dom. <laughs> let, me, let me get the owner's manual and read that. Love you, babe. I'm saving us money by doing this myself, so. And I'm getting content, you know what I'm saying? Juicy. This is a, uh, I actually ordered this on Amazon along with the torque wrench. This is a one and five eighths opening with a magnetic, um, uh, magnetic head. So basically when you put it in there, it holds the uh, spark plug in place when you pull it out and vice versa. Like when I'm putting them in, I could just pop it right in here, go right in and it's right in place. So uh, definitely recommend the one with the magnet for sure. Juicy. idling issue that Trevor heard it. it was a, like a little bit of a fluttering when you would first start the car it sounds really good it still smells really rich so I think that's just a tuning thing so uh, in tomorrow or the next day second part of the video we're gonna tune the car I'm gonna run through how to data log it and send all the tunes to Bama uh, who's my tuner as of right now and then uh, we'll get this thing dialed in 100% mechanically running well so that way we can focus on some of the minor uh, things that I want to do to the car. All right, we are back. It is day two of this video and today we're going to be doing um, some data logging. So um, this is a RevX tuner um, by SET and the tunes are um, Bama Performance. Now I know a lot of people give crap about Bama Performance, but um, the free tunes for life, you can't beat it. And I've had nothing but success with these tunes. I know I'm sure other tunes and tuners, I can pull more power, but this gets a job done from what I need right now. And so this is one that I don't actually see a lot of people use. This is more of a cloud-based one. Um, when you first get this, this device, any uh, data login device like this, you want to set up your account. So in this particular scenario, this one I had to set up to be able to do the cloud-based um, services along with the Bama services so that I can data log, um, you know, send them the data logs and get the revisions back, etc. So I've already obviously processed that and have done that in the past since I've had this for quite some time. Um, but essentially what I'm going to be doing is specific data logging today. And there are a number of things that Bama specifically asks for when we do this. One of them is an idle from a cold start. So I have not started the car whatsoever today. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, there's also a 10 minute hot start. Uh, so once I'm done, pretty much all the data logging at the very end, I do that five to 15 second 
steps. So you go from 1500 and every time you go up 500 RPMs all the way up to 4000 RPMs, each one you do five to 15. Uh, a cruise, which I'll be doing as well, and then a wide open throttle, which you know I'll be doing, because uh, I want to make sure I'm maximizing the power and they get the most data uh, to be able to give me the best tune. So uh, the idea here and the goal here for me is obviously, uh, yes, I want to get the most power, but the car's been running really rich. Um, I, again, I think due to the little bit of exhaust uh, s switch up that it has uh, changed some of the how the car is operating. So we are going to hopefully get that all situated, but I will get started. Now we will hit record and it'll start recording. We are going to do our 10 minute idle. Set an alarm for 10 minutes. I set your alarm for a little. All right, we'll let it do its thing. And uh, I'll show you how to send it up to the cloud. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. I actually just put up this new mount that I got um, to mount the um, tuner here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to stop recording. All right, so it's all set. I do want to point out, and this was a very, this was uh, a little intricate and hard for me to figure out at first, but I was actually managed to figure it out uh, a while ago. And this is why I wanted to post a video about it. So you go to data log, you data log it, you click stop, and then you go back. And you're like, okay, where's the data log, right? Um, so what you have to do is you go to device settings and then upload data log to cloud. You want to make sure that's enabled. When enabled, your latest data log will be uploaded to the cloud when you select cloud file sync from the device settings. Now, when you do cloud file sync, it typically is downloading all of your uh, tunes that you have requested in the cloud that aren't on this device. But what it's also doing in the background that it's not telling you and or showing you is sending your data logs up to the cloud. If you have this cloud set up correctly, it will send them directly to the cloud. Just to show you, here's my email, and here's the tune. So what you do is when you go back home to the computer, you would drag this file directly into their Dropbox when you submit the uh, data logging in the Bama Performance website. But that's essentially it. That's how you uh, you data log with a cloud-based RevX. I have was unable to find a video on it, so I am making the video today. Please let me know if you have any questions. I am gonna proceed with uh, doing the rest of my data logs, but that is how you data log with a RevX tuner. Now here's the only downside that I forgot to mention before. Each time you finish a log, you have to load it or else once you start recording again, it uh, completely just eliminates what you just recorded. So you have to log, stop the log, load it to the cloud, and then start the new log once you get the email for the new cloud. I know it's a pain in the butt, but the reason I went with the cloud one over the other one is if I had the other one, uh, the X4, you would have to plug it into a computer, pull that log, and then go again. So right here, I need no computer. I'm literally just hotspotting from my phone. It's gonna load all this stuff to the cloud. Once I get the email and I know that I got the log, I keep it pushing. So I like this one, I think it works really well. But uh, I did want to mention that you do have to record, load it, and then start recording again. All right, switching over to the phone cam. I'm start. I'm going to start recording in a, another data log. This one is going to be just cruising. I'm gonna to cruise to a safe location to be able to do the other data logs that I need and uh, we should be good to go. She's juicy. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if the camera caught that but there was a beautiful just little snap crackle. Uh, love it. I also think part of that is it's running just a little too rich. I know that this particular exhaust setup does crackle a little bit, but I do think that it running rich takes part in it, which is bittersweet. Slow down a little bit. 
I saw kids, dude. I gotta do it for the kids. <laughs> Every time I see little kids looking at it, they want to know what this car is about. They want to see it. They like the color. They want to hear it. So I give, I give them a little something, you know. And they, they smile, and it's the best feeling in the world. I don't do it for the ladies. I do it for the kids. The kids. Except Emily will tell you that when we first met, before we started dating, and she saw I was driving this green machine, let's just say it worked in my favor. <laughs> and uh, there was a point where I was thinking about getting rid of the car, and she, she absolutely would not let me get rid of the car. She loved the car. So, here we are. Still got the car. And I'm so thankful that I did not get rid of it. <laughs> so thanks, babe. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the last data log I'm doing at right now as we speak is the 10 minute uh, warm start. So it's gonna run for 10 minutes just after I did you know, all the driving. Um, I was able to do two data logs of the uh, 1500 to 4000, two or three different cruising data logs. I was only able to get one wide open throttle because out in Mexico uh, there was some uh, some traffic and other things going on so I was only able to get one of those but I got the uh, the idle from cold start and now we're getting the idle from warm now I'm gonna take these data logs I'm gonna put them on uh, Bama's website send the data logs to them so that way they can get me a, a fresh tune I might do so uh, one or two more data logs after that that's why I wasn't too worried about the wide open throttle I'll probably do another wide open throttle once they get me the fresh tune uh, with all the adjustments to it and then uh, it should be running really good and then at that point you know we'll work the mechanical stuff is done for the time being we'll get working on some other things and uh, that'll be it for now but uh, thank you for tuning back into another video I will leave some stuff in the description uh, some useful information on the uh, tuning process and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments make sure you like this video and we'll see you in the next one